It's our last day in Tokyo, but there's something to tick off the bucket list before we leave. We head to Mount Fuji in this episode. As you can see, the sun just came out and we were very uh, skeptical in the morning because it was cloudy. So we are just hoping that we get to see Fuji today. Mount Fuji or Fujisan is located 100 kilometers southwest of Tokyo. A subject of marvel, inspiration and awe for generations, a visit to Japan is incomplete without going to Fuji. To visit for a day trip, you can either go for a Hakone Day Pass or a day tour around the Fuji 5 Lakes area. Or you can choose to spend it your way, like we did. The views of Mount Fuji are usually the clearest in the mornings and the late afternoons. So we were in for a rather dull day at Kawaguchiko because the mountain was already shrouded in clouds. To make it a fun day trip, we rented a couple of bicycles outside the station and decided to go for a full round around the lake. So the last two days were really sunny and bright in Tokyo and we were really hoping that we will catch Fuji in its glory but it really really depends on your luck. So thankfully we got a good view of it when coming by the train because it was early morning but the clouds are now settling in. So here we are exploring Kawaguchiko. For the first time you come in here, it might be a good idea to spend a night at any of the Fuji 5 lakes. Kawaguchiko itself has onsens, resorts and hotels to choose from and is very easy to reach by a train. We had a 20 km ride ahead of us but knowing our speeds we decided to take it a little slow. Stopping by at pretty spots, meeting other cyclists on the way, enjoying the beautiful autumn views around the lake, etc. etc. Hey guys, so we are the Moon Chasers and we are traveling through Japan on cycle. On cycle. We paid about 100 yen for 3 hours with the bike, so we had plenty of time to see around. On the northern shore of the lake, there are museums and parks to visit. But what brought us here was the Momiji or the famous Maple Corridor. View of Fuji or not, you gotta love this spot, it's incredibly romantic. While cycling around Lake Kawaguchiko, we found this really pretty temple and shrine called Zuzaiji and we decided to stop by and take a walk because this is the entrance. joy of stumbling upon a rare find filled us as we entered the temple premises. Perfectly serene, quiet and a true reflection of the peace that surrounds the Katsuyama village on the eastern shore of Kawaguchiko.
The Jaisa Shrine is known as Fuji Omuro Sengen Shrine. Just in case, if you would like to visit. You won't find too many tourists here. We travel to the farthest edge of Honshu Island and back in time. Subscribe to our channel to visit Hiroshima with the Moonchasers in our next vlog.